Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. I feel like I don't even remember how to do this. I haven't vlogged since Christmas. Today is like the 8th, is today the 8th of January? Today's the 10th of January, okay? So I have a lot to catch you guys up on, kind of let you know how I started the new year. Happy new year to you guys. Um, I just wanna like fill you in on like what you've missed since I've been home. We obviously got back home from my parents' house, but it's been literally like the most disastrous, like unmotivating, most like do nothing kind of the last like two weeks um and i feel very strange so it's gonna feel nice today to kind of just take you guys along i'm obviously home with the kids the kids are downstairs or watching dora the explorer which is like the most random thing because i never watch that but i'll kind of just let you know what we've been up to and if there's anything new that i can share with you guys i will i told you guys in my goals video that i filmed yesterday that like one of the things i've been working on is like trying to declutter a little bit. I haven't had a lot of energy, honestly, to do a lot of that since we got back home. So like my house is still very much a mess from like being gone. So even like here, January 10th, I still have a lot to do. But one of the things that I did before we left to my mom's house is I actually did do a lot of tidying and decluttering in my bathroom. So it might not look like it, but I went through all of my like toiletries and I decluttered a whole bunch of stuff like this is what I'm left with but I had so much more stuff more stuff in here and then I got rid of just so much like in terms of makeup like these are my nail polishes and stuff that I am not decluttering because literally all of this is like my olive and new nail polish that I love and use almost every day but I had bins and bins of like makeup palettes and eyeshadows that I never use just like random things like that that I got rid of. So I'm feeling like at least that is good. And then I did go to Target. I didn't like film at Target. Look at how like all messed up these are already. I went to Target and I bought these new shampoos. I don't know if you guys have heard of them before. I got this Odell shampoo and conditioner. Got it because I was out of pretty much the one that I was using before. And this was like in the clean beauty section. So it said like it had like no sulfates, no parabens, no like all of the bad stuff. So I used it once, I liked it. So I'll keep you guys posted on whether or not like I actually continue to use this. But that was just something that I've been trying to look for. Like if I have to replace a product, like what can I get that's a little bit cleaner. In that same respect, this is something new to me that I wanted to share with you guys. These are the Lumino whitening strips. So today's video is sponsored by them. I am sure you have seen everyone and their mother like sharing these on Instagram and stuff. And I had never tried them. Um, I've tried other whitening strips before, but I had never tried these. But they reached out to me and I was like, okay, I'll try them. And I'm so glad that I did because I have used, like I said, I've used other whitening strips before. And while they've worked, I have noticed that like they make my teeth like very sensitive and like for like a day or two afterwards, I have like that weird, you know, like that little like annoying, like, I don't know how to describe it. The little tingle in your mouth when you use them. I don't get that same effect when I use these. So I'm very happy that that's the case. I actually used these while I was getting ready for the day today. So easy to use, it's like a little pack. It's got an upper strip, a bottom strip. You put them on your teeth, you leave them for 30 minutes and then you rinse them off. So it just helps to keep your teeth a little bit whiter, but the ingredients in this stuff is just a lot less toxic than like some of the other brands out there like it's made with very clean ingredients like coconut oil essential oils just like very basic stuff like that so i thought i'd share them with you guys if you want to try them out i have a code that gets you 20 percent off your order i'll have it in the description box the only thing i'll tell you guys about this is when you use them i don't know if you guys have ever used other whitening strips before but when you use them when you take off the strips after the 30 minutes you are going to notice like a film almost like a jelly like film on your teeth it's nothing to worry about. It's just basically like the coconut oil, like what happens when you put coconut oil in your mouth, kind of leaves this residue. So all you have to do is after you use them, brush your teeth like you would normally do, and then it comes right off. So I've been happy with them, with the amount of coffee that I'm having these days, my teeth have been looking like not so great. So I think they recommend you use them like seven days in a row. And then after that, um, you can just like pick them up if you have like an event or once a week and kind of like maintain, but for like the first seven days, you're supposed to just use them in a row. But I'm pretty happy right now. Like I said, I just took them off not too long ago. So my teeth are looking, I don't know, it's kind of awkward to show you my teeth, but my teeth are looking pretty white. So I'm very pleased with them. They also have other things, so maybe you're not into the white strips but they do have other things like mouthwash and they have toothpaste so if you're looking for something a little bit more non-toxic 
um, this might be something that you want to look into. Something that I didn't know, okay? Like fun fact, because sometimes when you work with these brands, you learn things because like they tell you things about their products. So what I didn't know is that a lot of products, you know how they'll say like, you know, kills bacteria, kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. And initially you're like, okay, that's great. But what I didn't know is that actually like 98% of the bacteria that you have in your mouth is actually not that bad. It's not like bad bacteria. It's actually good bacteria that you actually want in like your oral microbiome. It's really only like 2% of bacteria that is bad. So a lot of other brands, they'll kill like all of the bacteria, which means that when it comes back, it's like stronger. So the Lumino products, they're really good about like just killing the bad bacteria and leaving the good bacteria in your system. So that's just like a fun fact, another reason to maybe try them out. So anyway, thought I would share. Thank you to them for sponsoring. Definitely check them out. I'll have the link in the description box. But these are just like some new things that I've incorporated into my routine. So now let's go downstairs. Let's see what the kids are doing. Um, I already had breakfast. I had the most delicious um, bacon, egg and cheese bagel. That's been something that I've been wanting lately and I made it for myself. Like when I go to cafes and stuff, if I go somewhere for breakfast, I will normally look for bacon, egg and cheese bagel but they are a fortune. So I figured that I could make them myself at home. I've been able to have like a breakfast that I really love and enjoy and would pay a lot of money for it elsewhere, but I've been making it for myself. What are you doing? I'm doing crafts. You're doing crafts. You found the little craft tub? Yeah, so I'm gonna use some pom poms. I'm making a caterpillar. A caterpillar? That might be a good idea. So, cause like, it's not like, spring but i can make a caterpillar picture for spring okay that's fine it's still winter time but you can still make caterpillars yeah jackson has also joined us i was sitting here editing or finishing uploading a video earlier this morning i need to get my computer out of here you want to play your puzzle yeah this is something that jackson has been liking to do lately but it's that puzzle like all of these different shapes and then he has to put the different pieces all right all right, which one are you gonna do today? I did one. Thing. That's called a hexagon. Hexagon. Yeah, hexagon. Where does it go? Nope. 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 Yep. So how many hexagons are there? How many? Two. Two. Good job. Where did one go? Where does that one go? Beep 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 beep. Okay, so I want to sit here and just like update you guys on life in general and like what the last couple weeks have looked like, like I said, but I don't know if Jackson's gonna let me because he's like, I want to do a caterpillar, I want to make a ladybug, so I may get, like my brain might not be able to focus. I'm gonna try. So we got back from our trip, right? We got back from Miami and we entered like that week of like weirdness between Christmas and New Year's. And while everybody was talking about like how they wanted to do nothing and had zero motivation, I mean, that was true on my end. But the thing was, I had even more stuff than normal to do because we had just been gone for like three weeks. I had so much laundry to do. I had suitcases to unpack and I did like nothing of it for like two weeks, like legit, like just stuff was here. Like we had the bins of all the new um, Christmas toys that the kids got. They were just like chilling up here for weeks, like, it was mentally for me, not the greatest time because I had so much to do and I didn't want to do any of it. So now I'm starting to feel like myself again. I'm starting to kind of get back to work and starting to film again and starting to like tackle the new year. So I'm feeling better, but that means that now I have a lot of stuff I have to catch up on, even still laundry, even just a lot of things oh. like I always do. So thanks for being patient with me. I know like it's been a while since I put out a new vlog. I have been so bad that I even shared this story on Instagram. I had a baby shower that I was supposed to go to. It was for one of the moms from like the co-op that the kids go to for homeschool. So I was really excited. I went and I bought a gift. I went and I picked up a veggie platter and this was on Saturday. So I went picked up the veggie platter and I got dressed and I headed to the baby shower and I was excited because I was on time, all of the things, I was adulting. I get off of my car and I start noticing that there's like not a lot of cars around, but that's okay because like it's not like a huge baby shower, it was like a small thing. So I'm like, I guess I'm early. And then I start walking up the girl's driveway of the girl that was hosting it. And then I almost got to the point where I rang the doorbell. I remember like looking at the invitation and I thought it said the 14th, but I thought it was the 14th. And then I look at my phone and it says that it's the 7th. So I was a freaking week early for this stupid baby shower. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like I did all the things, got all this stuff ready, bought the veggie platter. So I had to turn around and go home. Like I called Joe, I was like, you're not gonna believe it, but like the baby shower is not today. It's actually next week. 
So that just gives you like a perfect summary of what my life has looked like in the last couple of weeks. I don't know what day it is. I am just so off. So I had gone to Target and I bought a planner. I bought myself a little planner and I didn't do a planner situation last year, but I was like, let me try to do a planner this year or use one because clearly I need some help in staying organized with all of the things that I have going on. But the planner that I got is nice because it's got like the monthly spread. So I can do like on the month view, you know, birthdays or like important dates that I need to remember. And then when you get to the month itself, it's like a weekly view, which I like because there's still a decent amount of space every day where I can put like the top three things I wanna tackle. Um, but then at a glance, I can look at my whole week and be like, okay, on Friday we have a doctor's appointment, on Tuesday we do this, or Thursday we have co-op. And so I can just organize my life a little bit better because I'm balancing a lot. And I think it's gonna help me to be able to look at my week and know what I have going on and try to at least remember what freaking day it is so I don't show up to a baby shower on the wrong day. So that's what I wanted to do right now while the kids are just kind of entertained, just kind of go through the next couple weeks, put the important stuff there, any like to do things that I have to do for work. And yeah, I'm just gonna get my life together a little bit this morning and then I'll catch up with you guys when I am done. Red means? Stop. Stop. Green means? Go. Yellow means? Go down. Go down. Mom doesn't want to turn. 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 Okay, Riley finished her caterpillar. Wanted to show you guys what she made. A beautiful creation. <laughs> Came out cute, Mama. Thanks. And I then try all I do. You tried, and then Jackson did all his stickers. So then I was able to go through the next couple weeks. So what I did was like, um, every day, like today, we're gonna make chicken quesadilla. So I'm gonna write down or like try to use this to meal plan also. So like moving forward, I'll put what we're gonna eat. I don't really know yet what I'm gonna eat tomorrow. This week is kind of weird in terms of food, but chicken quesadillas today and then like my top to do things. So like I wanna clear the stairs, it's full of a bunch of stuff, put away clothes in Riley's room, respond to some work emails. I have a call with my graphic designer and then I wanna try to edit today's vlog at night like once I'm done filming. So if I get those things done, I'll be happy. And if not, I can move some of these things to tomorrow to finish. And then like on Friday, the kids have a doctor's appointment. So I put their doctor's appointment, I have that baby shower on Saturday. Um, a doctor's yes. appointment. Yes, a doc you were excited to go to the doctor? Yeah. 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 You like the doctor? Yeah, I really do like the doctor. What do they check? They check my heartbeat, they check everything. I can't wait to see what room I'm going to be in. Okay. That was odd. I was not I expecting that she was going to be excited about that. I have I one more thing that I have to the remember. There's like another, um, we'll have like another event on Friday for Mom's Club. It, yeah, yes. You're sick? Okay, we have to go to the doctor. They're going to the doctor just for like their three year checkup and five year checkup. So I'm taking them. Yes, and then once I get the feedback from the doctor, I'll film updates on both of them because it's been a while since we do updates. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, Mom's Club is doing this really cute thing where there's like an urgent care nearby and they're scheduling a tour of the urgent care for the kids. And it's called like a teddy bear tour, which is really cute because the kids take their teddy bears and then we go around the facility and they showcase like, you know, what they do at a doctor's appointment. Riley, are you excited for that too? Yeah! Um, so like the idea is that the kids get familiar with going to the doctor and that it's not this scary thing. So. We have that event um, this Friday, which I'm sure the kids will like. I'm finally over here having my coffee. It's like 12.20. I didn't even realize that it's lunchtime. Like the entire day has flown. So I really would like to just sit down and enjoy my coffee for like two minutes before making everybody their lunch. They kind of had breakfast a little bit late today anyway, so I think they'll be fine. Riley is trying to help Jackson make a spider with some pipe cleaner, so we'll oh, see. No, I don't have any. You don't know how to do it? I, I do, but like, no, There's no uh, instructions? There's no Okay. Yeah. I'll try to see what we can do. In other exciting news, not exciting for me or Joseph, but exciting for the children, we made slime when we got home. 
that was a first for us and this slime is probably disgusting at this point because they took it outside um but this was like a kit that the kids got well Riley got for christmas so that was like one of her santa presents she wanted a slime kit and we went through the process of making slime it may or may not have already gotten in her hair and in the couch uh, so joseph is not super thrilled with the slime hence why it's over here in the kitchen in a tupperware but we made slime not my favorite thing i would rather make play-doh but it actually wasn't all that difficult especially like with the kit that we used because it was literally like a bottle of glue and a bottle of like some like slime activator thing and you just mix the two together and then eventually it became slime like but it's like i don't know it's like sticky in your hands i'm not a fan i would rather make play-doh like i said i'd rather do a bunch of other sensory stuff but the kids liked it. So when they remember, I'll let them play with it only on the blue table. It's the only place they're allowed to play with it now. Um, and they are entertained for a very long time with the freaking slime. Trying to get Jackson just to do like happy faces with like googly eyes. See if we can work on his fine motor skills here. Good. And then you can draw a smiley face. You can draw the mouth. But no, but over here, see, worry. these are his eyes, so put the happy face underneath his eyes. Very good. So hungry. All right, let's make you some lunch, Riley, okay? Here's what the kids are eating for lunch. They're having some Annie's cheddar bunnies, chicken nuggets, and some apples. Yummy. Here you go. I don't even have plates because I forgot to put the um, dishwasher to run last night, but they're going to eat this. And Jackson has been eating these chicken nuggets. I'm so proud of him. Here you go, Godo. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. But yeah, that has been one of the latest developments that Jackson has actually eaten a chicken nugget. So like two days in a row, he ate chicken nuggets. He also had some rotisserie chicken that I gave him. Huge win for us in the food department, but I have had to bribe him. So it's either like tiny little pieces of popcorn. I don't give him full popcorn because I know that that's still a choking hazard, but little broken off pieces of popcorn, which for some reason he likes, or sweet tarts. And whatever, no shame in my game, it gets him to eat the chicken. And that is more than he's done in like the last two years of his life. Yeah, before I start being productive with my life and actually tackling the things on my to-do list that I just literally wrote on my to-do list, um, I guess I can tell you that I've been watching a lot of TV <laughs> since we got home since I've wanted to do nothing. We've watched a lot of TV. And I'm currently watching Kaleidoscope on Netflix. So far, it's really good. It's like about a bank heist and you know, like the thieves and their plan. So, so far it's good. I haven't finished, but watching that, and then I binge watched Emily in Paris when I was at my mom's house. I watched it in like two days. That's just like a guilty pleasure of mine. I watched the show called The Watcher, and it was so good while I was watching it. Like I binge watched it. I think I was just like obsessed with watching the episodes, but the ending sucked. So I do not even recommend watching it. Like it's one of those like mysteries and it's like based on a true story. But then like spoiler alert, like at the end, it tells you like, oh, this mystery has never been solved. So you never know who the heck did all this stuff. So it's just like one of those annoying endings where it's like, then why did I waste all this time watching it? So I watched that, but like the show itself was really good. I mean, if you're into that kind of stuff and then you don't care that you never figure out who did the things, then that's fine. And then I feel like I've been watching just like a lot of nonsense stuff like that too. I started watching last night selling the OC so like instead of selling sunset it's like selling the OC which is again just a spin-off of that and like all these rich people with their mansions and the real estate world that's just like the trash tv that I have on the background like when I don't feel like thinking but I want something in the background but I am trying to figure out like what else to watch I had asked you guys on Instagram uh, I think maybe I think maybe last week and I got a couple recommendations but nothing that I started other than kaleidoscope but one of the big reasons why I had to like start watching some shows like last year I didn't watch all that many shows because most of my time I spent either working or like just doing things so like this idea of just like binge watching Netflix shows that wasn't really like a thing that I would do but I want to make it a point to do more of that this year because I, I found myself just like in this rut of picking up my phone and scrolling through Instagram, scrolling through like reels and like my attention span has shortened. My attention span 
has like my brain is fried and I'm sure I can't be the only one so like I used to enjoy watching YouTube videos and like watching long form content and lately I would like scroll through YouTube like watch two minutes of a video and then I'd stop and then I'd be like I want something different to watch and like that's not healthy like I need to like watch things like from start to finish not just like have this TikTok brain mentality of like, oh, I can only watch something for 15 seconds and then I need like a hit of something else and then a hit of something else. That's not healthy people. Like that's why I don't even have TikTok on my phone. I deleted TikTok because I think TikTok is bad for so many other reasons besides just that. But Instagram is like turning into the same thing and even YouTube is turning into the same thing. So it's just like not healthy. It's not healthy. So I'm challenging myself this year with maybe less of that, like just scrolling and looking at content for 15 seconds and saying let's watch a series let's watch a show and I know it would be better to say like let's just read a book but realistically like I do enjoy just like laying down on the couch and just watching a show so I'm gonna try to do more of that if you guys have any good recommendations leave them down below I like that like thriller mystery nothing like super scary because I'm not into like horror films and like horror things and ghosts and all of that I'm not into that but I am into like mystery thriller actually i do remember now the one that i also watched which i believe was on netflix it was called treason and it was like a limited series like one of those like british intelligence kind of shows it was really good that show i did like but then i'm trying to look at the other recommendations you guys said you guys said um you which i love the show you but it's coming out i think the new season is coming out um in february so i'll be watching that when it comes out and then I watched that movie on Netflix called Glass Onion, the one with like Kate Hudson and Daniel Craig. It was entertaining enough if you want like something just like kind of silly to watch. It was good, like I, it was entertaining and I watched it. And then a lot of people had said The White Lotus, which I don't know, I, I know nothing about it. A lot of people said good things about this show called Dark on Netflix. So I don't know, just throwing out there a couple suggestions, but if you guys have anything else you wanna add, let me know because I, I need to do just like more productive things in my life than just like scroll and scroll and that cannot be good for anybody. What are you telling me? I'm so excited. You're excited to eat some sweet tarts? Well, one bite of chicken and then sweet tart, okay? I'm shaking it. You're shaking it? Okay, give it back so I can watch you eat your chicken and then you can have some sweet tart. Let me see. Good job, Jackson. How does it taste? Good. It's good, right? And those are the Earth's Best brand. I think that's what it's called. It's like that blue bag. And they're like, I don't know, antibiotic free or something. They're a little bit healthier. I got them at Target. Here you go, buddy. No, it's not blue. No, it's not blue. You're going to put it back to get a blue one? Yeah. You want a blue one? Okay. Blue. Here you go. Blue. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. eat it and then you got to eat more chicken. All right, while the kids are eating... Um, this is what I want to clear off. When I mean clear off my stairs, I mean, look at this. This is like a literal, just like a shoe rack here. And we've got all of these things. So I'm going to go ahead and clear it. And then when it's done, I'll show you the, the after. All right, guys, if that's literally all I do today, that will have been just amazing. Like that has been sitting there for weeks. Like I'm not even kidding, for weeks. And now it is all cleared off. So that's just really nice. Like mentally, that was just like messing me up because I would see that all the time. And like, it just, when you look at it, when you see it, like you think it's gonna take way too long to get it done. And like, you know, you just don't want to. So I'm glad that I set aside a good, it didn't even take me that long, maybe like 15 minutes to put that all away where it belongs. So that's the kind of stuff that slowly, very slowly, I'm trying to tackle around the house. Like what space yeah. can I work on? Maybe I can't work on the entire house all in one day, but like little spaces like that. So did that, I'll check it off my list. And then I can work on Riley's room, which is a mess. I have clean clothes of hers, but it's like on the floor. I need to put it away. I started folding some of it yesterday, but I didn't finish all of it. So anyway, I'm gonna put the camera down for a little bit, relax, and then I'll talk to you guys in a little while. So I'm gonna whisper because obviously he's still asleep, but that has been one of the biggest differences, like new things that has happened since we came back from vacation. Jackson's sleep is very different these days. So 
When we came back from vacation, he did not want to stay in his room. He did not want to be in his crib. He would cry. He had a lot of separation anxiety. He didn't want me to leave. And it was like a mission. So we decided to like try and see what would happen, putting him in the bed with Riley and like in Riley's room, see if they could like, first of all, even just like stand being together and like not have it be a mission. But they've done super, super well at night so for nighttime that's what has been working like literally at night i get them both in the bed i get in the middle of them i'm like squashed i read them a book and then i just sit there and lay with jackson riley usually goes to sleep on her own she's fine but i lay with jackson until he goes to sleep and then i get up out of the bed and i leave so that's been nighttime and then for his nap the same thing he wants me to lay with him and then he falls asleep and then I can leave as opposed to how I used to do it where I would put him here in his crib, leave, he'd be like, okay, and he'd go to sleep. He doesn't wanna do that anymore. So he still needs a nap, like he's still tired, he's still three and I don't want to like go the route of just saying, well, forget it, he's gonna fight me every nap, so let's just do quiet time, do the same thing that we do with Riley, give her her iPad, you know, give him his iPad and have him do some quiet time. Eventually that'll happen, but I want to hold on to the nap for as long as I can because I know that he needs it He's so tired. So every day for nap time I've been doing what you guys just saw like I take him into Riley's room into the bed and Just lay there with him read him a book and then he falls asleep And then usually I can like roll out and then like go do some stuff while he continues to sleep like right now other times like I just like stay there with him and just kind of rest myself. Sometimes he'll wake up after like half an hour or an hour and I can go back in there, rest with him a little longer and he'll go back to sleep to do a little bit of a longer nap. So it's been new. The idea would be that I get him here in his room because like we're in his room now. I would like to get him a, not even a toddler bed because like the toddler beds have like the little railings. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the trigger and get him either a twin bed or a full bed and just like a big boy bed. So that's something that we need to do. So that's kind of like on my list because that way if I have like a bed for him, then I can just like lay with him and do the same thing that I've been doing, you know, in Riley's room, but like in his own room. Now, will he like that? Like, I'm not sure. That'll probably be a mission to kind of get him used to that because he, I think he likes having a buddy. He likes having somebody there with him. So that's why he's comfortable in Riley's bed because if he wakes up, he's not by himself. And it's just so interesting because I didn't have to deal with that with Riley. Riley always did really well in her room, would sleep through the night never gave me like a hard time but Jackson got to the point where there was like those like night terrors and he was like really scared and I would like find him crying and I'd go to like console him and like he was like in this weird like I'm crying but I'm awake or I'm asleep like couldn't figure out what was wrong with him but he was kind of having like these night terror things and then a lot of separation anxiety where he didn't want me to leave the room if he wasn't asleep yet. So that's a little update on his sleep. And then I had to kick Riley out of her room, poor thing, when she does quiet time. So she's in my room now during quiet time. So yeah, that's what's been going on. And that's why you saw me climb into bed with him. So I'm gonna go make a phone call because I have a that phone call with my girl that does like my graphics and stuff. And I will check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, so it is much later. Um, the kids slept for like over two hours. Like I had to literally come in here and um, wake him up, which I don't like to do, but it's like almost 4.30 and if he keeps sleeping, then he's not gonna go to sleep later. So I just got the kids dressed, which is, I'm gonna let them go play outside for a few minutes. Um, after we have a snack. After we have a snack, can I fix your hair? No! But, but it looks a little crazy. Come on, okay. Okay? I really want it like down, I don't like that. Okay, can that you way. give me your brush? That's in the cabinet, please? No. You need a brush for your hair. No, I don't like brushing. I'm just going to brush it fast. It's not even going to be a lot because it's not tangled. Ow. <laughs> ow. 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 Really? Ow. Are you being dramatic? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ow. Ow. No. Ow. 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 Before we go outside, I am going to clean this up. This is the clothes that I told you guys that I've just had sitting here on the floor. So I'm gonna put that away. That way there's one less thing I have to take care of. And there we go, much better. I still have this to fold and put away, but at least the floor is not full of clothes. Okay, it is freezing out, but the kids are insisting Mom, what, on coming what out. On the chair? What, what's over there? Bumps. Bumps? Oh, that's like all dirty from chalk, but that's okay. It's from my shoes. From your shoes? Yeah. Wow. 
Okay. Well, you can you can go down there and play for a little bit. Oh. I'm Riley. You look like you're a little cold. Let me see you. <laughs> Let me see you. If you want to go inside, you can, okay? No, I'm never going inside. Never? Okay. Yeah, they want to be out there, but heck to the note, it's freezing. So I will like be here. I can watch them. I can keep an eye on them. I'll start prepping dinner and stuff, but... Yeah, I am not about that breathing life today. While Jackson was sleeping though, I had a nice call with the girl that does my graphics, like I said. She's the one that like helps me like design my YouTube thumbnails and then she helps me with like a couple other things in the business. She's really the only person that I hire, you know, every month. Like I pay her a retainer to help me with some of that stuff. So if you guys are also like content creators, you ever need somebody to do some graphic design work for you guys um let me know i'll tell you who she is but that's like the one thing that i've invested in my business and it just like helps me have one less thing to do so we were talking about possible merch to potentially work on at the start of this year so we might get to that um later this month so that would be cool if we could do something like that i know a couple of you guys had asked like you know when was the next time that i was going to do any merch we had like the one merch launch that I did. I don't even remember when I did at this point, but I think you can still see the designs. Like if you look under this YouTube video, like the designs pop up, like the little t-shirts and sweatshirts, but I'm hoping to get some new stuff up there soon. So stay tuned for that. Jackson, are you cold? No. No? I have a sweater. You have a sweater? Mm -hmm. Your legs are cold? Mm -hmm. Well, we can go to the fireplace. Not right now. Not right now. Jackson, what do you see up in the sky? Look, what happened to the clouds up there? What happened to the clouds up there? Are they beautiful? Yeah. I don't know what. What? A big, that, one is, that one is big. It's a big cloud? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see that over there. What do we see? What is it? It's, it's a storm cloud. A storm cloud? Yeah. What color is it? It's fine. Gray? Yeah. Yeah. It's coming soon. Mm -hmm. it, it's not moving. It's not moving? I got a plan. You have a plan? Okay, so clearly I changed my mind about coming outside. Um, I've been trying. Like one of my other goals that I didn't mention in my goals video is that I really want to focus on trying to spend more time outside. Not that I'm going to ever do like the thousand hours outside because I don't think I can do that. But... Like just try a little bit more to spend time outside and like get fresh air. Even if it is just like 10 minutes a day, there can very easily be days where I just stay cooped up at home in the house all day long for like several days at a time. So I think it's good to get some fresh air. And the problem is that like now here, like in the winter, it just sucks to be outside and like you don't want to be freezing. But I need to work on just like just having more sweaters and blankets and just like sucking it up. For 10 minutes because it's good for the kids it's good for me and my state of mind um so since the sun is still somewhat out i'm gonna enjoy it for the 10 minutes like literally look at how i'm dressed like i'm in my flip-flops my socks like i look like a hot mess but whatever whatever i have to do to hopefully just help my mood a little bit that's what i'm gonna do i look like a freaking crazy old lady grandma and that's okay because i mean other than you guys who are my friends nobody is really looking at me and lately jackson has been loving to come out here the other day he drew like a road with the chalk and then he just goes back and forth with his cars and he could do that legit for like an hour if i let him just move the cars around it's white it's white no it's dry it's dry yeah yeah i'm a vertical hmm Hey, Riley, what's your favorite thing to do outside when it's cold? Hey, excuse me. What, what do you have in your hand? <laughs> Where did you get those? Uh, from the kitchen. From the kitchen? No, I actually used from the couch. Oh, from the couch? Yeah, because like, I didn't want to waste these. Oh, you didn't want to waste them. Look at you. You're trying to be not wasteful. How thoughtful of you. If we waste something... Uh-huh. I would be so mad. Yeah, we shouldn't be wasteful, right? Especially when it comes to sweet tarts. I guess you'll have to make the sacrifice and eat them, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa! That was a dog. Whoa. That's a dog? Yeah. Bark, bark, He's bark, pretty bark, loud. Bark, 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 hey, bark. but come here. I was going to ask you. What's your favorite thing to do outside? Uh, um, my favorite thing to do outside when we're at Mimi's house and at this house. The first thing I like to do at Mimi's house is go, like, 
outside and like run around. And then the second thing I want to like to do um is like like I I have a scooter now. So my second thing that I plan to, to like to do is is to scooter like around the neighborhood. That's my favorite thing to do outside. Okay, but in this backyard, what is your favorite thing to do? Um, do chalk. Do chalk? You like to do chalk? Yeah. What do you like to draw with chalk? Happy faces. Okay. All right, it's a million years later. I am going to bed. Like, it's like 9 o'clock. I'm going to try to go to bed early today because I'm probably not going to sleep very well. Um, Jackson has a fever, so love that for me. It's not often that he gets a fever. Like, the last time he had a fever was when he had the flu. But I know he's fighting something because, like, earlier today he was telling me that his stomach was, like, not feeling well. Like... His belly was hurting and then he took a long nap. I had to like basically force him to wake up. So I know that there was something off with him. So I gave him some Tylenol. Hopefully his fever will go down. I think it is because like he's not as warm. I'm going to go take his temperature again just before I go to sleep. But he's not as warm as he was when I first took his temperature. So yeah, super fun. Like when the kids are sick, it's not at all good. I'm going to be worried at night. I'm going to go check on him. So I'm going to call it a night and I was going to like stay up late trying to edit and finish this work of you know filming the like editing the video that you guys are seeing now but that'll have to wait till tomorrow but anyway i'm glad that i was able to vlog today pick up the camera and just do the thing that i hadn't done in a really long time so i hope you guys enjoyed just spending the day with me and just lots more videos to come remember if you haven't tried out lumino i'll have that discount code for you guys in the description box 20 percent off if you want to try out their whitening strips and like all their other stuff that they have, you can check them out. But I love you guys and thank you for being here and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.